Hey Scorpio Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. What's up, y'all? I hope y'all are doing well. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Please, hey, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. Let's see. We're going to pull um, three cards. A love message, money message, general message. And clarify and get you some advice and that will be it. What is the love message for the Scorpio Collective? We have the Five of Swords. Ooh, well, dokey. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have career and finance message, please, spirit. What's going on in their money? Scorpio's money. What's going on with Scorpio's money? Thank you, spirit. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, goodness. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And what's going on in general with Scorpio? General message. Hopefully, some encouragement. And I see some challenges here. Give me some encouragement, please, for Scorpio spirit. Thank you. Oh, goodness. We have the judgment. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have the two of wands in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse. So whatever's been keeping you bound and trapped, you about to let it go. February 10th or October the 2nd could be significant. May 20th could be significant. August 5th could be significant. May 2nd could be significant. Let's see. All right. So we start with the five of swords in your love life, which talks about like somebody kind of being petty. This is petty betty. This is cutthroat. This is like somebody trying to win at all costs. This could be somebody giving you the silent treatment. They may be not speaking to you, not reaching out, trying to be petty. Why is this showing up here? You can see on the card, the woman on the card. Oh, no, that's a man. Um, the person that he defeated. This is a card of surrender and defeat. This person could be feeling like they made some kind of mistake. We will see what clarifies this. But look how this person is defeated and he's like really proud. This is somebody take things too far. Show me why we have this. Five of swords. The three of cups. Yep, they're feeling stupid. Somebody feels stupid. Real stupid. March the 2nd or, um, I'm sorry, not March the 2nd, May the 3rd or March the 5th could be significant. Maybe March the 2nd could be significant. So some of you could be dealing with a um, cancer. Mm. There's someone here. Yeah, look at this. This card says here to make friends. And this is somebody that's an enemy. So there's somebody who wronged you who feels like they made a mistake. This is someone wanting to reconcile with you. Could be a friend um, that, you know, you started dating. Doesn't have to be, but there's someone here who wants to make nice now. Okay. Well, I said someone wants to make nice and look what came out, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all can see that. So this could be someone that you refer to that way. Maybe whatever they did to you, you can call them a witch with a B in the front. Okay. Show me why we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which talks about a really nasty, insecure this could be this person, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. This person is nasty and insecure. Maybe you were dating someone at work. This could be like someone who's doing like shady business. This is like a dark, um, what do you call it? Why can't I think? It's a witch. She's a witch, but it's, it's dark. Like she's dark. She's insecure. She's jealous. Um, She's a bad mother. Like, this is somebody who's not a good leader, whoever they are. This is also shady business. So we got to see why this is coming out. Somebody could be trying to get you in some shady business. We got the Ten of Pentacles. It says hometowns. This could be a maternal figure. Some of y'all might be beefing with your mom about some money. Somebody in your family, maybe the matriarch of your family. I don't know. Somebody could be beefing over some inheritance because this can talk about inheritance. But this is like inheriting the problems or the benefits of your family, whatever your family traditions and legacy are. So something about your mother, some of you can have a toxic relationship with your mother or she's toxic. Not trying to talk about your mama, but I'm just reading the card. Don't, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, heavy Capricorn, heavy Virgo. So your mama or whomever this matriarch or maternal figure is, somebody can have a house with a pink or a red door. Hmm. Something about your childhood home or your parents' home or your grandmama's home, like the matriarch's home. Something, something that's going on with a family may be fighting over money. And it could involve a feminine. We're going to keep it moving. What's going on with this general, this general message being the judgment? Okay, so this is a self-assessment, writing wrong, 
feeling homesick. Some of you may be um, traveling back home for some reason. We have the Ace of Wands. Wow. This is a passionate new beginning. Somebody is reconsidering a passionate new beginning with you. It could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. It could also be a Scorpio. January 20th could be significant. February 1st could be significant. The month of October, the next 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months could be very significant. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so some of you are definitely single. You moved away from someone you saw was a snake. This could be a Gemini. Could be a Virgo. Okay, let's see what your message is. Your advice from Spirit. Wow, that was quick. Your advice is get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you will begin to feel stronger in all ways. Okay, so that's your advice. But it looks like um, for a lot of you, there's some family conflict going on over money. Uh, there will be some final de uh, decision being made here where someone is choosing you. Someone wants your forgiveness. They want to come in and reconcile with you and they want a passionate new beginning. Okay. All right, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Peace.